What's up guys? Happy Saturday. I know I made a video on Friday, but um, I'm just going to be uploading it on Saturday because I have a busy, busy day tomorrow. So, um, today I'm here with a really quick video. Um, if you are wondering how I export my videos, um, I know I do all my videos in high definition, seven, um, 720p um, HD, and they turn out pretty good and it keeps the file size down very low. So what you're going to do is, I'll use the application called ScreenFlow. Um, I will be flashing over and adding another video to show how I do it using QuickTime, which I'm using right now. But, um, so what I do when I have my video all edited, um, this is the video from yesterday um, that, will, that I'm going to upload yesterday. What's up guys, this is Charlie, you're right. So when I have all that um, done, I'm just going to go up here to File. And then I'm going to go all the way down to export, right there. Now, um, I've already made um, uh, all the settings, but I'm just going to go through them. So first I'm going to name it, I'm going to do free wallpaper packs download. I spelled almost all the words wrong there. Okay, so once I name it, I'm then going to choose where I want it. I'm just going to put my desktop. Now. Um, yours will probably say web dash high. Those are the settings that it will be exported as. So, oh, and this will say 50% too. I'm just going to change that back to normal. But, um, you're just going to go hit, go right here and hit customize. Now, these will, this will bring up your movie settings. What you're going to do is you're going to go over here to settings and keep your compression type at H.264, the standard Apple compression. Um, you're going to go over here and you're going to hit every... 24 frames. I find that works very well. If you want it to be a little more high definition, you could go down here um, to high. Well, you can move the slider from high to best. That will bump your file size up. And you can um, make your encoding. You can do the best quality, which is the multi pass. You can do the faster encode, which is the single pass. I tend to do the faster encode because I, I love to keep my file size down. I love to make these videos, um, well, I love to make the work behind all these videos pretty easy and simple. So, once I have all that, I'm going to hit OK. And then you're going to go over here to Filter. Now, the filter um, I use, well, I don't really use any filter. Just make sure your filter is at None. None is selected, not any adjustments or anything like that, just None. And simply hit OK on that. Then one of the last things you're going to be doing um, is you're going to hit size. This is pretty straightforward. As you can see, it has your compressor native on the 800 by 450, which I find really is not very good quality. So what you're going to do, you're going to hit this right here. This will bring up a little tab, I guess. And you're going to go all the way down here to 1280 by 720 HD. Now, as you can see, there is a higher end, which is 1920 by 1080. That will bump your file size up a whole lot. Um, and I really don't know that there are all that many people who actually watch the videos in 1920 by 1080. Um, so I usually just make my maximum at 1280 by 720. If that bothers somebody, please leave a comment. I will um, make sure to change that if it makes you happy. So you're just going to hit OK. And then once you have your movie settings um, right, you're just going to hit OK. Now, um, I've learned from trial and error. I find that the um, system I use, which is doing this, works very well. I tried exporting videos um, from what I've done right now. But to find, I found um, to make the video the best quality, you would have to go down here to dimensions and, and you um, and hit scale by and go down to 100%. This will scale the video so it um, is 100% of your screen that you've recorded. Um, so if you're uploading it to YouTube, it'll um, get rid of those black lines on the um, side. You're just going to hit, um, well, after you've done all this, you're just going to hit export. That's pretty straightforward. Um, I will probably flash the clip over to show you how I make a video on um, QuickTime using iMovie and such um, after this is done exporting. And I will show you how the video turned out. Okay, I'll see you then. Alright guys, so I just got done exporting this video, which I just showed you how to do, um, and it looks great. I watched it um, once, and it the quality is very, very good. So, as you can see, when I hit Get Info, 
Um, the file was 83.3 megabytes. That'll probably register as around 80 on YouTube. But um, I love cutting the file size down. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, go to the application that I will put the link for the description in the description for this. Um, it is MPEG um, Stream Clip. Um, so you're just gonna open that. And again, the download link for this application will be in the description. You can use this for your um, iMovie uh, videos too, which I'll be showing you how to do later in this video. So once this comes up, you're just going to simply take this right here and drag it to the blue square and let go. And this will stop spinning and um, it'll just basically have your whole video. The red block, trust me, um, it's just the player. It will not... Um, be there. What's up, guys? This is Tyler. You're right. Um, <laughs> okay, I guess you can do that too. So, um, when you have this dragged in, you're just gonna go up here to File and Export as MPEG4. Um, I find this is the best quality you can export to and not lose um, much quality. So you're gonna get this um, a slider. I usually slide mine up to about 55% quality and the frame rate, same as your video, um, wherever you put I put 24. And you're going to keep it as the um, um, 1280 by 720 unscaled. Um, do not try to scale it with um, uh, MPEG stream clip. And then just when your settings look like this, you're just going to hit make MP4. Um, and just hit um, save. To your desktop and then these three windows will come up this is your actual um, progress and this right here is the exporter preview so once this is complete um, I believe it'll take around five ten minutes um, this, um, it'll be done and you will have a file that is probably really not much of well no let me start over you'll have a file that is really cut back in size and not um, anywhere near the file size of um, 83 megabytes. Now I know 83 megabytes really isn't that much, but I love cutting file sizes down, so it's for the best. I will see you guys when this is almost done. All right, so MPEG Stream Clip has stopped converting the file that I showed you not too long ago. As you can see, um, there is now a MP4 on my desktop, and it is half of the file size, and the quality is still there. So I definitely recommend um, doing this to your videos. Um, there has been a slight change of plan. As I said in the beginning of the video, I mentioned how I was going to be showing you how to do this on ScreenFlow and then showing you how to do this on iMovie. Well, I really don't want the video to be too long, but um, I'm just going to make this a part one. I'll do the part two today and I'll upload them both. Um, one before the other. So, um, I guess two videos will count today for Saturday. So, thanks for watching. I hope this helped anybody who needed to know how to export videos and still have quality on ScreenFlow. I, uh, hope this... I just said that. I'm sorry. Um, make sure to check out our website at www.techinform.us. Um, also make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. I love hearing your guys' opinions on my video. Um, whether it's negative or positive feedback, it really doesn't matter, leave whatever. Um, so I will talk to you guys in part two, not one, two of how to make videos with good quality. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys in part two.